And the first up is a Cheryl! And she'll be crossing against a Lightning! A Lightning uh, shown some flashes of sheer brilliance this season. Over to John Anderson. Looking at the weights and measures, sports student Cheryl Quinn, well made for this particular event, 5'5 five, five and 9 stone. Lightning, first time on the bridge, an inch taller, and carries an extra couple of pounds and that hammerhead to deny Cheryl safe passage across the suspension bridge. Ten points for a successful crossing, five for the draw. Cheryl pushing forward, Lightning pushing back. Oh, Cheryl stopped her, she's dropped her hammerhead. Go on, run for it. She's picked it up again. What are you doing? Get across there, girl. And she does. The lightning overpowered. And Cheryl under her arm, taking full advantage of the amended pushing rules. The crowd pleased with that, and both girls drop in for a ringside chat with our man with the mic. Well done, Cheryl. Can you get that helmet off? I think you actually forgot what you were doing there, didn't you? You wanted to go back for some more action. I know, I was too busy, um... Try my best to hit her off. I got a bit carried away and forgot to run across, but uh, got my head round it eventually. Anyway. Well done. You got yourself ten points. Well done. <laughs> Lightning. She forgot about you, then, didn't she? Yeah. This is a new event to me, and I think I was concentrating so much on trying to get her off, I forgot that she had to go to the other side. But um, I did enjoy it. But maybe I need a few more points from the deadly nightshade. Never mind. Let's hear it for Lightning. Johnny, I just want to bring you in so you can update us on this season's new rules. Yes, this year what we've done to make the game more exciting, we now allow a great deal more physical contact and the use of the body in the tackles. And in that case, it was a perfectly legitimate move and the contender was quite entitled to get the 10 points for making it to the other platform. So, 10 points. Thank you, John. And next up to run the suspension bridge is Jules. Before she does battle with Falcon, how does she rate her opponent, the mighty Quinn? She's quite nippy. I've been watching her. I don't know if she knows I've been watching her, but I've been watching her. She's quite nippy, very strong, and basically, I think on the day, it's, it's going to be quite close, so it should, it should be a good competition. Looking forward to it. sets off with Falcon between her and 10 points. Will this bridge be her Waterloo? She's backing the Falcon up. Falcon pushing back. Oh, she's gone. More of an albatross than a Falcon. And Jules traverses for 10. Get your glove on, Mum. That's it. In the playback, Jules is quickest off the mark, cops a couple of lunges, and Falcon is quickest off the bridge. It's Cheryl, 16, Julie, 13 after three. Next, it's the guys. Here's a <laughs> And psyching himself up is the mighty warrior! <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Let's see what Murray's got at his disposal against this big boy. Well, he's a strong six-footer, weighing in at well over 12 stone, whereas the warrior's armory includes a height advantage of five inches, in addition to being seven stones heavier. Three, two, one. On that note, good luck to Murray. Meets Warrior halfway. Murray getting stuck in. And Warrior being very cool. Oh, perhaps a little too cool. Like Quicksilver, Murray gets away on his toes. And Warrior wondering what happened there. And his fans celebrate. On paper, it looked as if the only way for Murray was down. Warrior grinning. And I must say, he certainly came out fighting. But Murray gritted his teeth, ducked his head, then added on his toes a bit lively for 10. Downstairs for a little chat with Fash. Murray, well done, Murray. I wouldn't have fancied your chances. Oh, I was a bit like David and Goliath, but I didn't have my slingshot, but it was good enough. But oh, so pleased to get past it. Murray, you had 19 stone of sheer muscle running at you. I had my wee skinny legs going through. <laughs> I mean, what, what, were you, what were you thinking when you heard him shouting and psyching himself up on the other side? Well, I was shouting back, but my voice isn't as deep as his. <laughs> Well done, Murray. You got yourself yeah. 10 points. Well done. <laughs> Warrior, I think 
think you scared everybody. Certainly everybody back home. What actually happened? I thought you had him. Yeah, listen, this, this is gladiators, and everybody likes to see the David and Goliath situation. And in that case, he's a pretty big David, and he slipped me on the side, and uh, great, good tactic. He ain't going to knock me off, but he just ran past me, and uh, I just quite, couldn't quite get hold of him to kind of tag him on the way through. So, well done. Brilliant. I think he deserves those ten points. Well done, let's hear it for Warrior! And Murray! And the next up is Bill! And he'll be facing the Rhino! Rhino, his first time on the bridge. But that's little consolation for Bill, because although he's a six-footer who weighs well over 13 stone, he'll be facing a charging rhinoceros who's carrying a massive 17 stones of solid muscle. Three, two, one! You've heard of a bridge over the Rhine. This is a bridge under the Rhino, and he looks to be sending poor old Bill back to where he came from. Oh, there he goes! Charges the sewer man down, Bill Cumberland, in way over his head. I think he'd rather that here, though, than his workplace. Oh, unlucky, Bill. I think he took everything down with him, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did out of the kitchen sink. He's a heavy guy. He is. Good guy. Did you think you got much chance? Uh, I thought I had a bit of a chance, but the guy just came like a rocket. Did you have any tactics or just went for it? Just run and try and hit him as hard as possible. Yeah, sensible ploy. Sensible ploy. Rhino, well done. Congratulations. You hit him hard. Uh, thank you, John. Um, I just went charging. Um, Warriors give me a lot of advice. Um, Hunter, I tried to get a jab in. Did you think he was going to get you down at all? Oh, well, you never know. You, um, you never know. It's a funny game, suspension bridge. Um, and then it ended up in a, a heaving battle, and I just tried to heave him off. Well done, both of you. It's here for Bill and Rhino! Well done. Rhino heave-hose Bill out of the points. After three events, Murray 10, Bill nil.